Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I want to show you the 10 best websites that you should be using. And these are all websites that I personally use. With these sites, you'll be able to remove the background from a photo, generate truly strong passwords, access thousands of royalty-free stock photos and videos. And these are just a few examples of the websites that we're going to look at today. All right, let's check these out. The first best website is remove.bg or remove background. And it does exactly what the name says. It'll remove the background from a photo and it works incredibly well. You take one of your photos and you upload it to the service. It uses AI to automatically identify the people or the persons in the photo and it'll eliminate the background. And it works incredibly well. I've uploaded photos with complex backgrounds and every single time it correctly removes the subject from those backgrounds. To download a standard quality photo, it's completely free. If you want a higher quality version of the photo, they charge a little bit of money. The number two best website is the Sejda PDF Editor. Now, all too often I receive a PDF that I have to fill out, but it's not a form, so I have to print it out. And then I have to fill it out. Then I have to take a picture of it. Then I have to save it as a PDF again. That whole process is just a pain. With Sejda, you can upload your PDF. You can insert text boxes. You could annotate the PDF and then you can save it as a PDF again. And all of that is completely free. And number three best website is nounproject.com. On the site, you simply type in a word and then you'll find icons that match that word. This is especially helpful if say you're pulling together a PowerPoint presentation and you just need that one specific icon. Or in my case, when I pull together YouTube thumbnails, I recently created a video on data entry forms in Excel. I searched for data entry form on noun project and what do you know, there was an icon that matched that. Once you find your icon, you can save it as an SVG or a PNG. You can use icons entirely for free if you provide attribution, or if you pay $3, you can use it royalty free. Best website number four is passwordgenerator.net, and it'll help you pull together a very strong password. Now, believe it or not, two of the most popular passwords in the world are 123456 and simply password. Now, you could do better than that. That's all too easy to hack. With passwordgenerator.net, you simply type in the criteria of your password. How long do you want it to be? Should it include numbers? What types of characters should it contain? And then you click on generate. And there you go. Now you have a very strong password. And if you pair that with a password manager to remember those passwords, you're already on track to being a lot more secure. Best website number five, and this is an A-B test tool. This is one that I used all the time when I worked at Microsoft. So let's say, for example, on my YouTube channel, I have two different thumbnails and I want to compare which one performs better. I can run an experiment. I could have 10,000 people see one thumbnail and 10,000 people see another thumbnail. Now, let's say that one of the thumbnails gets clicked 1,600 times and the other thumbnail gets clicked almost 1,700 times. Is the second thumbnail truly better and does it get a higher click-through rate? Or was it just random chance that maybe just a few more people happen to click on it? Well, I could use this A-B test tool to see if there's a statistically significant difference. Basically, was it due just to random chance or is that second thumbnail truly better? Best website number six is pexels.com. And on Pexels, you get access to thousands of royalty-free photos and videos. Let's say, for example, maybe you're pulling together a PowerPoint presentation and you want to include an image. You can go onto Pexels, search for a word, and they'll pretty much have thousands of different images that you can choose from. I do this all the time on my YouTube channel when I want to show what's called B-roll, or basically video that plays as I'm speaking. I search for a topic and there are thousands of videos that I can choose from and then incorporate into my video. The great thing is you don't even have to provide attribution. It's completely free to use and they have a massive catalog. 
Best website number seven is Photopea.com. Photopea is kind of like Photoshop Lite. It's a fully functional image editor that's free on the web. You can set up layers, you could apply different filters, you have access to a whole host of different tools. If you want to edit images, chances are Photopea will have the tools that you're looking for, and it's completely free to use, as long as you're willing to put up with a few ads on the side. Best website number eight is google.com forward slash flights. Anytime I book a trip, I always start my search here. You simply type in the city you're traveling from and the city that you're traveling to. And then Google Flights shows across all different airlines what the different options are. And what's really nice is if you're looking for traveling at the most inexpensive date, they have a whole bunch of different tools that let you visualize over time what the pricing looks like. Once you're ready to book your trip, they'll send you off to the airline website where you can formally book your travel. The thing I like about Google Flights is it's a really clean design. It's really performant, and at least from what I found, I'm always able to find the best deal. This brings us to best website number nine, and that's office.com. I know, I might be a little bit biased with this one. I used to work at Microsoft, and I personally worked on office.com. But hey, I don't work at Microsoft anymore, and I still use it, so it's got to be a good website. When you go to office.com, you can sign in using a free Microsoft account. And within office.com, you can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint entirely free on the web. And along with those, you also get access to all of Microsoft's other services. You could use Outlook. You get free OneDrive storage space. I use office.com all the time to access these different tools and also to get back to my files. This brings us to best website number 10, you're getting old. And thanks for watching this video. Since you started the video, you've now gotten eight minutes older. Hopefully that was time well spent. If it was, please remember to like this video. With yourgettingold.com, you type in your birth date and it'll tell you how old you are in days, how many birthday candles you've had throughout your entire life. It'll also show you different milestones throughout your life. The thing I like about this website is it makes you appreciate the time you've had on this earth and it also serves as a good reminder to make the most of the time that you have left. Before we wrap up today, I want to leave you with one additional bonus website. And when I think of the billions and billions of websites in the world, this one website is clearly number one. It's better than all of the other websites that I shared with you today. On this website, you can find very high quality tutorials and you could also see this handsome face at kevinstratford.com. That's right, that's my new website. You can check it out and you can find all of my different tutorials on there and it's all completely free. Let me know what you think, what do you like, and what else do you want to see on this website. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time when we're all just a little bit older.